Hi, how are you guys doing? I hope you're safe, you're sanitizing, washing your hands as many times as you can during this corona pandemic. And of course, like I've always told you, the hashtag is we shall overcome because we will. Now, welcome to Entertainment News right here on Y254 TV. Now, if you don't know what the show is all about, we are here to serve you tea or coffee if you like. We're just all about that. Udaku, Mshane, what's been happening with our celebrities? What have they been been doing that's what we are here for now my name is Philin. that is at Philin jean across all socials and of course the hashtag is y254 updates talk to us at y254 channel as well nakama kawaida i usually have a panelist but today we only have one in studio and he's not new to the show you already know him i'm gonna go ahead and let him say hello what's up <laughs> thanks for having me yeah yeah uh, so don't touch the dial. We're doing this, eh? So kaudaku ni kengi. Sai tu nafatia live updates za udaku vile imekuwa. Don't go away. Right. That's what we're all about. <laughs> Tea, chai. They know nafana kusema kupepeta kachai. <laughs> And, and, and you, for, you always forget this. Your social media. Oh, How yes. can you forget that? I go by the name Dennis Bob Miner across all social media platforms. Follow me, follow me, follow me, please. Yo, yeah, Sante. Yeah, Sante all right. You, Sante you. That's what's up. Now, we're going to go to our first story. <laughs> Don't forget the hashtag is Y254. Updates talk to us at Philin Jin everywhere. And of course, at Y254 channel at Dennis Bob Miner. Now, we usually also have a panelist, like I told you, but they're not here today and they're not with us via actually either because of uh, unavoidable circumstances but they're going to be here next week so don't worry about that now we're going to go to the first story now just a few weeks after comedian Mlamwa promised to quit comedy Kenyan pop star Nadia Mukami has followed suit now Nadia took a break from social media because a social media user by the name Stella Bella wrote some defamatory remarks about a concert that apparently the singer performed and failed to honor their deal and give her a cut the user used some abusive words i <laughs> abused abusive words i um and did not sit well with Nadia's management, who went ahead and issued a letter addressed to Stella Bella, demanding she pulls down the post and upholds an apology video to the singer. The singer later on went to the to a state that she would be quitting social media in the meantime. <laughs> All right, you can see on your screens, actually, it is right there. Uh, Nadia said, like, she's been crying. What's wrong with people? I'm going to start with you on this one. Why are people... Okay, just, it's, it's not even been long before to talk here. Okay, it actually started a long time ago. Steve Simple Boy has been actually on the receiving end of this. Wakatoka kwa Steve Oz, Jui Bahati. Jui si Bahati sasa wakaina kwa mlamuwa. Umetoka kwa mlamuwa and now it's Nadia Mkami. What's happening? They should take up Steve Oz's approach to this. Yeah. Steve Oz, you troll you on Baka Gafika Mali. Mm -hmm. Sai has a team to yeah. accept that. Right. But then Steve was crazy, ni mubishane. Aguna <laughs> atisijui nini. Steve doesn't back down nowadays. Steve wala kuangushia neno hata ye. As in, he's, he's adopted to the social world. And I think yeah. sometimes when you're, when you're a celebrity, rather, yeah. you're somebody who's uh, in the public scenes, people are seeing you. You, you We don't expect you to succumb to such. Yeah. Because at, uh, what I'll say, some people look up to them. They, they expect you to be strong. Yes. That's why you find people calling radio stations, telling them their problems. Because yeah. they think like, you... You should know that. <laughs> exactly. So Maybe. I think yeah. I think they should just live to that expectation. We understand we are all humans. Yeah. But there is um, I'm sure they know how to hide their private and public life. Yeah. And sometimes these kikis they go the wrong way. Mm -hmm. I would say this is also a kiki. Trust me. I'm not. I'm not shocked. Niski tena next week akona song. Oh. Yeah. You think? Okay. But that was a very big accusation because um, if you saw the post. Matusi Alio Muita Nadia. It was not. Uh, it was not like something like Ali Mutukana. But we just can't have that post on uh, on TV. It's inappropriate. But 
alim tukana sana so uh, uh, i don't know i actually sort of understand her but since uh jc shout out to jc mugure by the way and shout out to mck hafulu imboko junil biatara giovanni shout out to the whole gang gang ronald shout out to ronald mm. by the way he's going to be joining us next week shout out to everybody now um here's the thing we're live on facebook yes quality about if you don't if you don't have like you're maybe leaving the house or, or i don't know you're going to check out something you can take us with you just check white if i first page we are live comment below and i'm going to be reading out your comments as well because i want you to be part of the show yes so like i was saying <laughs> nadia ali tukanwa sana so apparently i don't know 60 or oh, udema lisema alipata deal it was like around 85 g's so me i give you a show alafu ni kwambi ukisha perform you give me my 15k card you need me to after a gig and then you pocket 65 so apparently nadia performed alafu she didn't honor the deal akumpatia pesa yake and that's why she was very furious do you think there's any truth to that or she's just bitter let's break down this stella mm -hmm. stella is apparently an event organizer i'll put it in quotes because yeah. if she can organize a gig for nadia it's somebody who who can talk on a table who should be bothered by 15,000 and at, at the same time it's not somebody who can use such words that's why i'm calling this kiki yeah ude mwezi niambia ati ni mtu anakaanga kwa tebo na negotiate an 85,000 deal how to bring nadia to a show only to for her to come back and then start using abusive language high makes sense i don't know i'm wrong exactly i mean surely he makes sense to them i think my money by this for you for me nita kuroga i'm like what a message to these uh, people who are trying to pull kikis mm. just try to pull a kiki that maybe looks real because yeah. at one point he now I question truthfully he now yeah, upon the chairs well i don't know maybe it could be it could be a stunt yeah. just to get more people to check her face you see? or maybe it's true if it's true then i'm really sorry for her now the attack heart it gets easier <laughs> and i know this industry you just have to grow a thick skin calligraphy at least ama kuyongo market right yeah. at least you have to grow a thick skin be a bahati and to kanwana eh eh ni nani kesho bado una muangalia like he uh, he doesn't care anymore i think you have just to do that but if it's a kiki then i'm, I'm going to be very disappointed i'll be very it's very definitely a kiki i don't well i don't know definitely but do this the hashtag is why if for updates talk to us do you think it's genuine ama ni kiki wanatafuta tu vile watu wataingia social media yao so that ngoma yao next hit i don't know to the next story now kfcb boss is actually <coughs> to a popularly known as the canyon moral cop is at it again but this time he is awarding good deeds mtua has awarded the abebo hit maker akothe with fifty thousand kenya shillings in what he terms as good moral display from the singer according to him akothe is the most developed artist in kenya due to her inspiring content and as such was given fifty thousand. akothe has been in the front line through her foundation to support vulnerable Kenyans in the in this pandemic now akote expressed her gratitude to ezekiel and tua and even went ahead to promise that she will change for the better since things are better on the good side akote announced that she will not be distributing okay she announced rather she will be distributing it to some ladies who had lost jobs and were unable to cater for their needs <laughs> Going police. Like, uh, okay, first of all, okay, let me just remind you a quick one. Remember when Akwata went to the States and then she had this show and she wore a swimsuit with some boots and she showed a lot of skin and as a Kilimtua did not back down. He actually came for her and was like, you're not showing a good example, you have to be this, you have to be that, the way of dressing, I don't advocate for that. You know what? maybe she listened and she's been on the forefront of just like helping the needy and uh, according to ezekiel i'm on akote i may improve maze i didn't put your 50k he was just like you know what it's quite 50k you've been nice character ko badilika so you deserve an award i can pay 50k akote ni nani akasema thank you so much you know what if 50k i'm going to give it to people who need it more but i've learned something like i have to be on your good side I don't want a vavile. You know, a vile vana ile. Do you think she's going to honor that? Me <laughs> actually, the thing that made me like, <laughs> as in niliona ni kaka kwa acha za nauma jamaa. Nimwambia ati kitu itanisaidia sana. Like you know, it's like she's been given 50 million. She's been sarcastic, right? <laughs> Yeah. I just Sana, this thing is going to help me so much. Like she ni kama but you 50 million. 50,000 yeah. is very small money to acquire. But I, I'm I'm happy no, that but, but 
she sounded like I don't know. She sort of sounded legit, but somehow ni kama ni sarcastic. Kwa sababu ni kwa alikuwa anasema, "I pesa madhi ni life changing. It is it's going to change my life." In a very big way. Surely. Okay, you know you need that she needed the donation for the foundation yeah. and it's a good thing at what she's doing by the way kudos. Yeah. She's done so much yeah. and uh it's it's something that people should emulate mm-hmm. even in the lowest level possible. You don't have to be a kode to help. You don't have to have so much money. It's a good thing. Uh 50,000 shillings goes a long way depends yeah. on who you are. Exactly. Yeah and uh, there, there's someone if you give them 50k right now you'll totally change their life. Yes, depends yeah. on who you are it can go very long way. So yeah, Ezekiel, endelea na moyo huo huo hata mimi naendelea vizuri so uh, you, you can we can talk. <laughs> I'm way, sure, yes. Uh, hi, <laughs> yes. Mr. Ezekiel to our KFCB boys. We don't show, you know, unity. Yes, we are yes. very good. You, we you know? Good morals, <laughs> yeah, you know. Yes, Sasa hiyo pesa kaine. Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not kidding. <laughs> I got no money on the letter of the amount. Yeah, the hashtag is why to people update. And on that note, I'm going to challenge Mazay, you guys at home, each and every one of you. If you're watching me right now, you don't have to have 50,000 Kenya shillings. You can just pay 100 bob and buy your neighbor uh, food. Yeah. Yeah. You can buy someone a mask. You can just do you can do just it doesn't take like a, at Ezekiel Tua to change the world it starts with you so just do the like the smallest thing the smallest kind of uh, uh, kindness goes a long way so especially during this pandemic just try as much as you can to help each other but we're here to talk about fun stories and that's why we're going to go to the next story now Dan- Damon Platinum couldn't hide his joy um, over the fact that his baby mama Zari allowed him to talk to his kids on video that Tetema hitmaker Damon could not hide the joy of getting a chance to talk to his two children who are best in South South Africa. Now he said, I'm going to quote, nothing sweet than waking up to the sweetest video from your beloved kids. All right. So, eh, <laughs> you know, Chibude, um just uh, last week he wrote on his uh, Instagram that he's going to donate food. He's going to help 500 families at a corner what he was actually going to buy them food and okay. pay them rent worth three months at our olympia rent at three months no 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 food 500 families so that was really an amazing thing but zari came uh, um in another post she was like why are you saying that you're trying to be nice outside here and you don't even know what your own kids eat <laughs> and just a week later there was a call so i think he did something Probably ali tuma pesa right labda labda ndio hiyo siku ipigwe hapo kuna kitu kalitembea it's like he hasn't been talking to the kids for a very long time so finally wa akakubaliwa kuongea na watu and he was very very happy about that baby mama drama never ends ina kuanga hivyo so I'm, I'm 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 actually looking at what diamond is going through like mzee mm-hmm. mjamaa umekuwa simba up to a point you can't even help people in peace wewe jaribu ata kusaidia watu wengine utasikia tanasha amekukujia Yes. yes. So he says you chibude chibude sasa unavuka maboda just be very careful. Um, but anyway, mm-hmm. Zari Zari has always something on diamond. Yeah. No, um I think it's because like um she gave him his first born is something that, that was Zari has first over baby. Uh, Zamon actually said in another post that um not the Damon rather Zari as <laughs> no matter what happens no matter how many kids you have My son will always be the first born son no matter what no yeah, matter what happens it, 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 and Tifa something. is also the first born <laughs> though when my sister seemed to disagree it was just like um, especially when uh, Nani was uh, a bit salty Zari akamwambia actually she said that Zari is just being a desperate single mother do you think that's appropriate calling someone that okay hizo is only unajua inakuanga even, even in the old days yeah inakuanga these guys were polygamous Regardless, we are to be at my wives are in peace and everything. Who mm-hmm. mjama kienda job? Mm-hmm. Zile maneno zio tembeaga kwa hizo manyumba. Yeah. Na zile matusi zio pitanaga hapo. Ama sijui unamwaga maji, unaambiwa sijui umemwaga vibaya. It's just the same way but in a bigger way. Yeah. So, it's normal. It's they normal. share a man, they share a man, they share something somewhere. But I don't know why are women fighting over him. But he must be doing something right. At least mm-hmm. he actually got Tanasha to convert. Tanasha size in here. 
Uh, he's, she's Muslim. She goes by the name Aisha. <laughs> eh, hey, Tanasha says he ain't Aisha. Yes, yeah. Tanasha. Tell me, Jamani. Hello, Mimi. I told Tanasha. <laughs> oh, Anita. I didn't know. Aisha, Jamani. Mimi, I'm seeing you on Okay, don't do that. Oh, no. Please oh, don't oh, do oh, that. It's Tanasha. <laughs> It's a uh, thing. Why did she convert though? Is yeah, she converted. Uh, you know, they were supposed to actually have that wedding that never happened. So I think it was like um, some sort of requirement. Like, you know, we have She's to... reminiscing the moment. No, but she's still Muslim. So I think it sat well with her. She's still Muslim. Uh, we saw like when... when, when um, the Muslims started fasting on their first day. Ali celebrate like in Zamal. You know? Oh, yeah. yeah. He was like, yeah, Aisha, Aisha, I'm Toto. <laughs> Can anyway. I do it again? No. <laughs> but, no, don't do that. But, also, the other, another thing that people are complaining about is the fact that, um, Vile, say what wana swali, wa islam wa mefunga, alikuwa, alitek video, wakiwa maombini. Is that right? Like, when people are praying and you're taking videos showing that pia umefunga, una, una sali, nochikuwa video. Do you have to show the world that you are really praying? Me no na kwambezi kiki sa zingine. They just, zingine as it makes sense. Why do you have to go to church? As in, okay, okay, wait. People go to church with phones and record the sermon. Mm -hmm. But from my understanding and from my interaction with the Muslim, uh, the, the, the Islam religion, yeah. some things are not done. They, they, they tend to be of a little bit private. Yeah, they, look, yeah. Yeah, they are, respect that, that, that yes. area, even like you can't walk in shoes mm -hmm. in, the, in the mosque and everything else. So why, why go ahead and do that? He was being filmed there, like he worship, and then he posted it in his it's story. Not, it's not like, fair. Oh. It's not fair because you can imagine the guy who was filming that. The guy was not praying, praying. at that moment. And it's a mosque, and people are doing the salah. And from how no, I, I see, I don't think it's a mosque. It, it's he's a, you know Corona. I don't think people are going to mosques. So I, it should have been his house. I think. But he, when he, you he decide that I'm okay. doing worship mm -hmm. at this point, that place now becomes like a mosque. Yeah. Respect that place. It's a holy place yes. at that moment. I don't know. The hashtag <laughs> is Y254 Updates. Tell us what you think about these stories. <coughs> and we're going to be more than glad to sample some of your comments. That is on Facebook. I told you we are live on Y254's page. It's just Y254. In your Facebook, Anika Y254, then just search it. Comment below and on any of the stories and we're going to be sampling your comments. <coughs> now, we're back home. Controversial blogger Robert Alai has called out comedian and media personality Daniel Dambuki, popularly known as Churchill. Ally has accused Churchill of not paying his artists, regardless of making a lot of money from his shows. He claims that Churchill has salary arrears from November last year. In a tweet, Ally said, and I quote, anyone who talks to Dan Dambuki, aka Churchill, tell him to pay comedians who have earned him money. Churchill went ahead to respond to the allegations by using a Bible quote and a quote one day you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free <laughs> churchill tweeted ah uh, all right so <laughs> hey. there, like, you gotta respect churchill no like when you're talking about churchill put some respect on that name because he whether you like it or not, Churchill is just like one of those revolutionaries. Like he has helped the industry a lot. Most of the comedians we know today, it's because of him. He has given them platform. Okay, now, given that in mind, now we can go ahead and discuss and talk whatever you want to say. So according to a lie, uh, there, there's some, some guys from Churchill who told him like they were not being paid. And this story, um, even some comedians, when if you check Edgar Barry's stories, there's also, there's also a comedian who commented and said it's actually true. The allegations are true that they are not being paid and that they've been working. Some of them work out, there are some of the comedians when you are in the nyumba. And they are like working really hard. You, you, have, you have fame, people know you, but you don't have money. So, I don't know, it's a sad state of affairs, but I cannot confirm if that is true. Do you think that's true? Uh, when it comes to matters, money and people, people being paid, yeah. I'm, I'm sh pretty sure no one would just come out and say I've not been paid. Just for the sake of it. For no reason. For no reason. I guess when you mess up after Kiki, Jamini. What about after Kiki? But if you check from what Alai and uh, the team master Obara is doing, yeah. um, I'm, 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 I have not seen names. 
Oh yeah, but so, they, there was a, it was anonymous. Yes, once there yeah. are no names, mm -hmm. there is no one who stands to benefit from this. Yeah. But yeah, once there are true. names, now that's Kiki, mm -hmm. and that's how you can differentiate these these Kikis, these people throw everywhere. Once somebody starts giving us real names of people, th that's our problem. Yeah. But now it's it's people just trying to express something. I yeah. kind of feel for them. I'm, I'm being an artist. I know. Yeah. I know how it feels. Yeah. How it feels to walk around. You you have that cafe and. Uh, but you're not paid, or you are underpaid. Yes. It actually really hurts. But also, so in the same, um, you know, a quit uh, mm. on the same tweet mm. in the thread. Someone asked Churchill, Mazi just like, do what you're supposed to do, pay them. And then Churchill was like, oh, if you feel like really sorry for them, why don't you like start your own show and pay them? Like, People are salty. Wow. <laughs> People are salty. I love it. Come on, Miss was I D. Basi, funny Evie. And the Ako. And the Shayako. I love who funny as well. Like, just hire them and pay them. Like, don't you think, Amma? Looking at Churchill's point of view, Pia, mm -hmm. being the show manager, you know, there's, there's a lot. Ushikwa. You've ever been with people who look at just something and say, that guy makes a lot of money. Yeah. But they never ask themselves, Kwa ground you, Kwa ground yeah. you might find that for Churchill, like for example, when COVID hit Kenya, he lost so much. Yeah. He they, lost so much. Because most of the money they make from the crowd who yes. pay entrance to come and watch comedians perform. Now without, uh, with the closure of like everything, now they, there's no audience. And for him to find people to come to his show, yeah. there's things that you need to do. You need to do proper marketing, promoting your show, and everything else. Those are costs involved. It's and not about that because I'm making 100 million, I'm going to pay you from the 100. These are a lot of things that are involved yeah. there. You have so, to pay the venue, you yes. have to pay lights, you have to pay People, people need to draw the line. Yeah. The line needs to be drawn. Equipment. Yeah, what, yeah. what we're doing. And there's also another thing. When you enter into a contract with someone or um, when someone calls you, I'm mm. aware, actually, yeah, and most of the time, you, people who, there are people who approach him. Yeah. I don't know if I'm doing well, but they me, I think I'm funny, I can do this. And then he's like, you know what? Let's see what you can do. I'm going to give you a platform. Yes. So maybe, mtu wana wana, acha minda fanya fanya, alafa nilipe after maybe this. Na agreement jilikuwa, acha nione vili itaenda. You know, so when you, 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 you are, you, you become like um, a fan favorite, not even a fan favorite. When, when you, you, you become consistent, and then you're on TV every day, you're like, that's me, Nisha, grow. Why are you not paying me why is this a little you know so maybe there are those also expectations so you also have to like honor your contract i think it, it, it goes back to even uh, the management aspect the management of the artists even before they get to churchill because once you have such an, a verbal agreement or yeah. whatever the type of agreement you're going to have that let's see how it goes I'm sure it reaches a point where you need to formalize things. Yeah, yeah, you have to go back to the. Yeah, you need to formalize part. things. Yeah. So at some point, you know, legally, you wouldn't take me for, to court for not paying you for something we have not even agreed. Yeah, true. But if it's true, like they haven't been paid uh, from November and they already did perform, and then pay. I think he should do the right thing. Yeah, he should he should pay. Just go ahead and pay the artists because they have families, they have rent, they have like bills just like everybody else. So please. Chill. If you owe them and you are in a position to just like pay them, they also need to feed themselves. Yes, Hashtag Y E T F for updates. Told you we're live. Keep talking to us on Y E T F for channel. That's on Facebook, and of course you can also talk to us on Instagram at Y E T F for underscore channel at Philin Jean at Dennis Bob Minor, and we're on Twitter as well at Y T F for channel. Now we're gonna go to the next uh, story now <laughs> we do these stories every single every <laughs> single day during entertainment news we have to do a story like this like every single time now this story is no different now we all know that working from home is a real challenge and even more of a challenge when media personalities try to work from home now a spanish news anchor dating a big brother star has been called um a love cheat after uh, after a different woman was spotted behind him while he was live on air at his home, Alfonso uh, was unaware that he had been busted when an eagle eyed viewer <laughs> noticed the semi clad woman was not his girlfriend 
Marta Lopez as he spoke to the host during a video call on YouTube. The 41-year-old remained silent for days before insisting his relationship with Marta had ended before he was caught with Alexia. Now Alfonso <laughs> went on to apologize to Marta for any hurt he caused during an appearance on their show. I don't know. It <laughs> Alexa, hello. Alexia. Oh, it's Alexia. It's Alexia. It's not <laughs> Alexa. I know what you're trying to do. But okay, back to the story. Wow. Guys, I keep telling you, walking from home is hard. It's tough. Like, una kwa tu kwa hapa, una kama tu kame puta uku nyumas jine. So, that is the case. That's what happened with this guy. Alfonso, is a, he's, a, he's a media personality. He's actually an anchor. So, people are walking from home. Send guy his story. We're doing them from home. So, uko kwa nyumba, kidogo kidogo uliko na side chick, eh? Kampango, kampango wa kandoka. Na ya ju... Si mpango wana fichu wangwa. Ya yeah, ju kujificha. Ako uko kwanza shapi toko nyuma. And then guys are like, wait. And he's live. Si uyo ni nanina. Ela kwanza uko side chick wana julikana. Ala julikana. Si uli nani. Uli nani anafanya ni kwa nyumba ya nani. Na si mse ana kwangana demu, ya? So after like everybody knew what was happening, Akasema like by the way, ule de mungine mlikuwa mnajua, atukuwa tuna date, ati tulisha achana. But that was not true because the girlfriend said a different story. The girlfriend said they were still together. But then since he cheated, obviously they have to end the relationship because of an embarrassment. Not at least mtu atayaki cheated in secret ato unweza msamea. Laki hile nye kila mtu ala cheated. But anyway, I think it comes back to but but I'm a side chick, but then see by stop doing this. Stop. Stop trying to record us. Please. Watch any good to pick a picture. No, this this guy, I'm pretty sure. He, he thought that the, the lady was maybe in the room, so ah, Hayuko Karibu, so I can maybe do the yeah. show. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, na, ukichunguza vizuri, labda wa bema likuwa na joja mako live. She's also a media personality. Trust you me, oh, she... Oh, wait, she, yes. she, 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 she saw a perfect opportunity to trend. Yes, you know, of course. Like, people don't know me, why should they know me? Yeah. Say what I need you more, and... Do you know another thing? In a relationship, maybe like on the rocks. I call him or I call my channel, but I'll call him. Say it take too long to end this relationship. Why not just end it right now? On TV. Kinda, kinda. Yes. Iko, iko. Why not you? Let's just go somewhere where they don't know. You, you are kuna. Apa boy child da me onewa. Apa boy child da no mi aburi. Yeah. Iko, iko. Iko, iko, iko. Manze. I, I pity him. But anyway, it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. But hey, manze. Pio jamana pigali. He say whatever you're doing, darkness. Yeah. It shall come to the light. So, while I want to call a side chick, like a side chick, say you were more though. Say my side chick, why are you corona? Kumbi Muneza Kaivo. Okay, so, so, we're going to go to the next story. Sorry. Kumbi. Ha! We're going to go to the next story. Say, you're not. You're not. Sawa. Yes. Kumbe. Kumbe muneza tulia. Ha. But no, I'm actually seeing my neighbors often nowadays. What what has Jawai yona? So COVID 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 unafanya kazi. And but Corona, it's not even funny. I saw even Kim and Kanye. Well, some at Kim said they are fighting a lot with Kanye. Like you know they never see each other. Say I kuna ku travel. You are there morning to evening. Muno nana. Akuna kuenda. Akuna tukuenda ati yasenol. Nakuna ati yasenol. Nothing. You're in the house morning to evening every single day. Na ustake juwa kalandea pige. Kalandea pige simu. Wano ngenge hivi. Ati hello. Mm. 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 Anyway. Kwa nani language. Wano ima saidi na jifunza hizi maluga. Yo. Ima hivi. Ima bidi. Ima bidi. Mutaelewa tu. Right. Yeah. On to the next story. Now, popular Kenyan rapper Octopizo has clapped back at social media users who said, it's actually a social media user, who said that he has started singing like Bahati. The rapper responded to claims which came after he released a new hit with Barak Jacuzzi called Cheche. The rapper responded with some warning statements and claiming he would rather be Bahati, and I quote, this is what he said, Afadhali niwe Bahati any day than niwe wewe, Octopizo stated in a response. Yes, <coughs> so it's clapback season, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Say, you come for me, me, I'm coming for you too. Yes. Kinda, kinda. You, okay, I'm just saying, don't come for me. <laughs> Munione, <laughs> cry. Munione. I'm kidding. <laughs> Munione, I'll help you. Kiki Omani, I'm Eh? So, 
now what i'm saying is this ati ah wanione wakuone kando no me i'm saying ati ati is unsali some ati you pussy and then this guy is like you know what uh, and then there was a, also another um person who claimed that ati ukisikiza zingoma za octos g ati sipo and then he's like oh at least you listen first before you judge so you know it benefits me Yes. You know? You listen fast. Unaenda kwa YouTube, una click, una skiza, alafu ndo unasema ni mbaya. Hapo ushamwongeza views. So, but anyway, um, I think it's a, for me I don't have any problem with that. I I think well, you need both critics and fans for you to succeed. So I think that's like a good thing. But ngoma za Dr. Nikali, who will even say that Dr. Natwango mamba? Like what are you talking about? What? Well, uh, okay, sir, so don't kill me, but let's just hear from Okto, you. Okto, anaimbaga ngoma mzuri. By the way, skubali, wakerido was a good hit. Any other hit is good, but here, Chebukati, hakuna kitu nefanya hapo. <laughs> you know, he's, he's talking about Chebukati. You know me, at first I had that, Nini, that, uh, the intro. The intro to the song starts with Chebukati speaking. I'm like, eh? What what is going on here? Then all of a sudden, at Che, Che, I love to do it in Tolea form. There's something like that in the song. Surely, I'm saying, you're a rapper. Tukinja imu tukutu a bit kwa hiyo song, hivi. Mse, wewe na bahati hakuna tofauti. Actually unakaribia simple boy. Ukienda tu hivyo unaendelea. So, I think it's a good thing um, somebody just told you the truth, but pia watu waache kuchomeana jo. Sasa hii watu wako na makasiriko, utapewa maneno. <laughs> <laughs> Utagusa mtu utapewa maneno. <laughs> Usijaribu. Sasa una vile una sasa kama huyo. Aki the, the statement itself, the caption itself ni vile hata mshoe yezi yako kwa TV. Kuna vitu alisema hapo. Yeah. Kuna vitu alirusha. Yeah. So I'm sure the guy didn't even have no, to respond. But, but I think like don't you think that's like a good thing for artists like to defend themselves instead instead of taking the Nadia Mukami way exactly. una quit social media sababu umekutukana si uko tu kutopizo mtu akikutukana pia wewe yeah, yeah, right? yes no, all wait. publicity is good I'm, publicity i'm lying don't do that you are a public figure and you you, you need to be emulated so sasa tena wasijibu you know what are we telling kenyans here wajibu wasijibu you know that's the thing mimi mimi if you come at me nitajibu sta kuficha yeah eh hata akodhe anasemaga call police call police <laughs> in dajibu right now <laughs> Before we, uh, before we wind up, I want to shout out a few people. There's Nina. See, Apollo. Hi, Nina. She's watching. <laughs> have, gang. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to you, Nina. I have someone else. Elvo Mtana Shati. And I say, Mamoto. Sana. Shout out to you, Elvo. I have Kid Boy Kevo. And I say, Ma, yeah, make a two sign, you know? Yeah, yeah. No. Thank you so much. Spata West KE. And I say, Mamoto. Thank you so much. Spata, I have Lavi Lavi Erickson. And I say, watching from Vihiga Ileho. And I show it on fire. Vihiga. Mm -hmm. What to when you when do we go? Hi, how are you doing? What you be sema? Yeah. Um be sema. When do we go? Oh, do I know ba? Do I know ba? Yes, yes. Now we now we understand. Yeah. It depends. Let me not to translate this in Vitu. Uh huh. Yeah. So like. Anyway, we we're doing this. People stay safe. Uh huh. Stay safe. That's all we have to say. Wash hands. Uh huh. Sanitize. Na joi imbo imbo mpaka mechoka. Right now na joi kuna mtu wakaribu ku mute. Please, we, we have to do this. Yeah. Let's do this for everyone else. Me, I'll do it for you, do it for me, and do it for your friend and your neighbor. Right. I go by the name Dennis Bob Miner across all social media platforms. To Jibambe, na kachai kana endelea tu. Kana endelea tu. Yeah. Next week. Hoi. Next week, it's a kuwa <laughs> moto fire pasi. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And we're going to have the whole gang uh, join us next week. Today, we couldn't do that because of unavoidable circumstances. But it's always a good time hanging out with you guys. Keep the conversation going. The hashtag is white fair for updates. Make sure you follow us. The channel is, that is on our Facebook Y254, yes? At Philin Jun, across all socials, at Dennis Bob Minor. We absolutely love hearing from you. Now, you know one thing they've been, they've been saying? It's better to wash your hands with soap and water than sanitizing. So don't just keep sanitizing your hands. Not that it's a bad thing. It's good. But if you can have soap and water, it's the better option. Make sure you wash your hands as frequently as possible and not for less than 20 seconds. Wash your hands at least for 20 seconds and do that many times in a day. That's the safest way possible. And of course, avoid touching your face unnecessarily. Don't, don't touch your eyes. Don't touch your nose. Don't touch your mouth because that is the easiest way to get infected with this virus and we do not want to spread that.
but shout out to everybody who met the show possible thank you so much guys for watching and everybody else who made uh, the show get here Timo shout out to you our director Pale I have Rose Pale Kwa TC Maurice right here in studio Place your camera. Who else? Like, I don't know. They just it takes a village. Thank you so much, everybody else. And we're going to see you next week with an even better show. For now, goodbye and uh, good night.